What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So the runoff I've been left off, we are currently intercepting um, a small number of troops in Slovakia and it's definitely worthwhile doing this because uh, enemy strength keeps increasing and we want to try and pick apart things as we can. So let's do it. There is a chance that this may uh, Hungary, the Hungarian capital, um, drive forward and uh, caused to have, caused myself to have a gap in my lines looking back towards the enemies just have so many stacks that if they do break through I'm going to have a real hard time containing them so nice and simple uh, positioning so we should have the Austrians here and then the no, Prussians here and then the Austrians coming in from over on the right should do anyway so let's put the bulk of my forces facing in that direction. Deploy some dudes to the west, because we know how the AI likes to uh, screw you over, and just deploy uh, deploy men uh, wherever. Deploy my second bands to protect one flank with fire it will off, because they do have pistols, I think. Because they don't have... We definitely don't have muskets. Let's deploy my pikes to protect the left flank. Probably put my Mameluke guards on the right, where the bulk of the enemy army is expected, and then my Mamelukes on the left. General in the centre. Okay, so they have deployed. They've deployed in a bit more of an extreme angle than I would have liked, so... Redeploy my men accordingly. Too bad we've missed out on a lovely howitzer shot, or quick lime shot with my howitzers right at the start. Let's pivot this wing forward to force their hand and also to start to bring my line start to bring my line a bit more uh, around to face the face the Austrians. Well, it looks like they're making very slow progress. Oh, it is the... No, it's, sorry. It's the Austrians on the field. And the Prussians that are taking their sweet time reinforcing. They must be walking around this hill. Slim brought my guns. Just so I can reposition. How are fine? They can fire 360 degrees. So I'm not as bothered about them. There we go. So let's deploy them here. Redeploying my men a bit further back. Ah, their men are actually making better progress onto the field. Getting a lot of good damage against their marines. No immediate risk because they're marching onto the field in quite a casual order. But the idea is these are some quite elite troops. Two units of marines, three units of marines, three units of marines, foot guard unit. Yeah, these are these are units that are definitely worth wiping off the map when we have the ability to. this unit a bit like this. Get my sec bands back to safety. Oh no, not you. Intercept their general with my Mameluke guards because they've pushed up a bit too much. Ooh, 
Ideally, I'd get them before they reach our lines. If that's the case, then run around behind them. And wait. Let them take the opening fire. My guys may take some casualties from misses. Okay, now attack. Now they're out of range. Yeah, one of the Austrian troops is routing. We target my heart, says even though they're out of range to go and engage. The guy's coming onto the field now. Push this wing up. Pull my men back, because the general's being shot at. Small arms fire. See if he's over in that cluster over here. Sadly not. Here come their marines. Get our men back to safety. Uh, field artillery. Pick new targets, please. Such as that marine unit. How it says a quick climb how it's coming in. Okay, let's get you guys moving moving a bit around the flank to get some extra firepower on these marines. Here comes the general's bodyguard. He's charging in. guys like so to fire down the flank get one of my howitzers to engage this unit of marines general's been killed oh they got a good quick climb hits only five of them left that's why you don't walk side on to quick climb shells damn are placing stakes to run our cover around behind them. Deploy our Mamluk guns to go and try and catch those marines. Push these men up to help engage. Push these guys up. my Mamelukes to go get them. And you are in a perfect position for a quick lineman. There go the Marine Line Infantry. Well, the Marine Line Infantry. Freikot Line Infantry. There they go, they're down to 97. First, routing and routing, good stuff. Pivot these guys to make sure they don't keep firing. Come on, General. Go after that fly call. Come on, Mamelukes. There's one engineer left, one Marine. He's going to get away, unless this guy can get him. Nope, he's going to successfully escape. 
um... Ooh, another devastating quick climb unit. Quick climb hit. Yeah, there they go. So now it's time to halt the artillery, continue the battle, halt my artillery fire. I do that just to stop um, too much friendly fire. I want my guys to knock out this infantry as quickly as possible. Good. Kill those eight men. Mamelu guards ran the right way through the spikes. Okay, good. You guys come after the marines. The marines have routed, and these guys are going to route too, I suspect. Or successfully leave the battlefield. Go after the marines first. They are the better line infantry unit. And the Freikorps, if they keep routing alongside the line of retreat, or the, the battlefield's edge, then I think we might get them as well. Delicious. Exactly the kind of There we go, lost 280 men. They lost nearly 2,000. So they're dead. They've been destroyed and pushed back. Hmm. Question is, I can't remember, I don't remember if it... Okay, so I think that's... I can't remember if it's this guy or this guy. And I think it's going to be this guy. Because these bashies, the figures don't add up. Which means that these guys are depleted. Um, let's still fight it. Because even if then we will still be fine. Because there's only one big arm little ones. So the key will be identifying where the big force is. If it's a bridge battle, if it's a Okay. So let's deploy howitzer over there, let's deploy a howitzer over here three infantry and a bash unit to cover here a bunch of nizam to run and cover this bridge then all our cavalry is going to be roaming Remains to be seen where exactly there the enemy will come on from. I think, thankfully, it's going to come on from the other side. So the reason why I'm, I don't deploy my line infantry at maximum thinness. is because I just want I don't necessarily need the maximum firepower per unit. Yeah, here's the big army because they've got all the heavy cavalry. So let's deploy... No, camels aren't as good against heavy cavalry, but deploy some camels over there. You keep chucking out. Quick climb. Let's get my Mamelukes over on this flank. Realistically, I could push from this side, but I don't tend to do that till towards the end. So Austrian Jaegers are going down. There goes there goes their general. Now, 
you fellas that have got range. Maybe at the Lancer Guards. A lot of cavalry coming in. So I'll leave a Nizam and a Bashi to protect this bridge. The other fellas I may as well march over here for support. Limber these guys up as well. There we go. General's bodyguard's got a douse of it. And the rest of it you can really just drop on the forward and you usually want to aim it a bit short because it seems like the egg shape kind of drops the far side of where you deploy it. Now you go look at this, this bridge isn't occupied at all. you guys into square formation these guys stay doing what they're doing because no one's actually attacking them and they can fire quite safely across the front regiment of horse is coming in who else is coming in cavalry the Jaegers are with their funny sounds. Keep my artillery focus firing their Jaeger. My a bit slightly le more slightly useless howitzer. What the hell is going on here? Hmm. I wonder if that's gonna cause any problems later on. I don't know who the hell they are. Cavalry's coming in. But my grenadiers can continue to engage across the front. These guys can actually get out of square formation. My bashies don't need to engage yet, only when the squares are breached. Come on, you keep dropping. Keep dropping it down there. But there we go, now these guys are all in square formation. They can't really do as much damage as they would like. As long as my men hold firm. It's a lot of cavalry. Killed a bunch of hussars that are falling back across the river. Focusing hard on the 27th. But they've got a lot of overlapping fire support from the nearby squares. The first regiment of horse is now charging in. The first. But it looks like the 35th are pulling back across the river. Okay, so this unit over here. You guys do counter battery. Squares are holding. The light hussars are back. Yeah, the squares are holding firm. I think the cavalry is. Oh, the light hussars are still, ex still in existence. in a bit closer because it looks like they might be attempting to rush. Nope, they're setting up for a uh, musket battle. So my men need to reload rapidly. So 
handful of men that need to reload. general over here. Danger close quick climb works. Pretty well. Let's keep them dropping on the far side of the uh, the river. Charge the feline in. You guys should, uh, maybe you should just wave her and we're out. Freikor line, Swiss line. Okay, my lone battery out here. You've done an excellent job. You keep engaging this guy, the other two units of line. Engage the other horse artillery unit. Where's my Felleen? Got the guards in. Well, they are being fired in the backside by my Janissary Musketeers. Quick climb going in. Who do they hit? The light horse. Charge my bashies in because they've also got their marines involved. Sars. Remember, the Prussians are quite good in melee combat, so they aren't. People to be ignored. But see, at least we've got these units out here that can continue firing across the breach. They've broken, hit the engineers. Because they're getting down to half strength. Sound bug, which is unfortunate. A oh, bunch of Freikor line infantry died there. Swiss line are marching over. I put on my fella in to start to attack. Guardsmen, or the 26th foot guards. You guys are under attack from their artillery. Ooh. They have more artillery. You hit that unit. You go after unit back there. Their marines are routing. Good. Get my bashies in against the grenadiers, the, guard, the foot guards as well. Good. And get them back behind the lines. I did get some vol a volley in to the marines before they made contact. Okay. 
the slaughter. See, this is what this is the kind of thing that does I really like about Empire. Is this is the first game I played after Rome that actually made that actually had uh, you know infantry that paired up and whoa don't no too late. Um, it's the it was the first game I played that actually made the infantry uh, pair up, so to speak. So we've got the Swiss liner involved now. So we're going to lose a few more men because of all this melee combat than I would have liked, but... Okay. Now's the time, Mamelukes. Get over there. Take out their gunners. Looks like I need to pick up this Israeli unit and this Nizam infantry unit. Set them all to attack. Because they might be winning, but their numbers can't uh, sustain what's happening. So let's pick... I want to get one of my artillery units to cease fire. There we go. Knock out the gun teams. Those are my guys. Throw more Nizam into the mix. The Janissaries are holding the flank. Camels have just been getting shot at by artillery. Just as I said, even more comes in. Make sure you kill the cavalry and make sure you kill the horse artillery. Two men left, one man left. Damn right, continue. Just set them everyone to attack and as they run through the enemy infantry they'll pair up and hit them as well and kill them. Pick one specific unit to make sure. Oh no, the 19th is dying. Whoa, halt fire. They definitely clicked halt fire, but they must have just already loaded and fired. Give specific orders to my cavalry first to make sure they massacre the right units. Oh, those guerrillas almost made it, but fortunately they all stopped to respond <laughs> to being charged down. There we go. That's a Prussian unit, a Prussian army <laughs> destroyed. got some raiders Spanish troops on the other side of the world which isn't really our concern yeah don't worry we're gonna push over push over the river 
in the Baltics and go and secure the next city over. <laughs> I'm redeploying all oh, so many men over to the east. But yeah, the next few episodes might be a bit grindy, but that's what we've got to do when you're against a uh, up against uh, some superpowers. Yep, they're having to pull forces away from the north to resupport to reinforce the south. I need to make sure I recruit some smaller armies to chase down the the, uh, the smaller forces they've got, like the one, two, three unit things. Thought Switzerland was attacking Prussia. Hopefully they do. That would be perfect. Well, sort of perfect. I mean, we want all their territory, so you can't really do everything we'd like. We just need to keep growing, keep building our economy, and we'll be away. Although I've got a feeling what I'm probably going to do, uh, looking at the timer, I'm probably going to end the episode here after two good battles, so in the next episode we can kick off doing a bit of economy and all that kind of lovely stuff. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.